what can audiences expect when they see this movie? I think first of all, they will expect to see a Marvel movie, a huge spectacle, a lot of big things. And it starts off as a very ordinary young people who are trying to find themselves or not. Uh, they are living their own dream. Their parents would love for them to be engineers or doctors, you know, because they're very talented. But they're happy driving other people's cars. So, you know, you start off going, oh, this is like, it's like a family drama. And that's exactly what it is. Except the arguments here are spectacular. The, the people they have to fight against. And unfortunately, Shang-Chi is running away from his past. And we always say you can't run away from your past because one day it will catch up with you. So it's much better you face it and find a way to resolve, embrace, or move, or let it go. Um, and I think that was the journey that started off as uh, his best friend discovering that the boy next door is not just a boy next door, he is like, insane. Uh, he's like the most incredible fighter. And I think what Destin has done an incredible job uh, here together with Brad Allen, the late Brad Allen, and his uh, stunt team, and Will, Bill, William Pope, with the DP, the photography, because they are telling the story with depth and emotions, even if with martial arts. So it's raised the bar. And I think that is something that I think the audience will really enjoy. When I first heard about the movie, I was like, yes, I want to be part of it. I want to be part of, I know this is going to be um, a movie that's going to make such a huge difference. I was part of Crazy Rich Asians three years ago, and that was a groundbreaker. That one really was. And this for me is the one that cements the fact that we are here to stay. And we should be here to stay because I think it's very obvious, you love us. Like we love you, right? It's like the, the culture, they want to know more. And I think here it is like not stuffed in your face, but it is part of your everyday life. We are around you all the time. Although it's a really fun, packed, roller coaster film, I think it's never um, a real movie unless you have real emotions inside. You know, characters that are vulnerable, characters that need to um, be who they are or find themselves. And I think in this journey, you tell, they tell the story of a father and son and daughter, you know, how the daughter was always put aside because she was a girl. She doesn't have to learn martial arts. She doesn't have to do anything. She will be taken care of. And so she had to learn quietly by herself. And then with the boy, it was like your task to take revenge, your task, because you're going to be the heir of this empire that I have built over centuries right but is that what they really want or what you want for them so it's a reconciliation of uh, what is love parental guidance care because i think tony said it himself it was like this father didn't know how to express the love for his kids especially after he lost his wife Right? He was so lost in his own grief and anger, you know, that he wanted to destroy everything that tore their love apart. And so it brought them all even further and further apart from each other. And I think where the character that I played, which I loved, was because, you know, it was uh, bringing them all back to the fold and letting them know family is always there for you. They might not always be right in front of you, but as long as you reach out, they will never turn you away because that's what family is. And I also like the fact that they touched upon the name. You know how uh, we have Asian names, whether it's Chinese, Korean or Japanese. And sometimes we give ourselves Christian names, like more Americanized names or English names. We are, that's why I'm called Michelle, instead of using my own uh, Chinese name, right? So it is our identity and it is something that we should be proud of because it is part of our heritage and who we are. How did I feel to be part of such a talented task? I mean, I, every day I just sit there and watch them. It's like a um, stage performance. I mean, it's so funny, fabulous. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly thinking to myself, thank God I'm not their age. Otherwise, I don't know where I'm going to be. 
but it is fantastic to see this and you know they work hard and that's what I appreciate about them it's like they don't take it for granted and they don't feel entitled and I think that's very important